Hi guys, I'm going to do a little video to welcome you into the perspective of business building aspect of Young Living. There's many reasons why you might want to do this. Um, there's many different levels of business building and you can take it in just so many different ways. The biggest thing is anybody that enrolls with Young Living as a wholesale account, which is you've bought a starter kit, you are able to talk to people about Young Living. You don't have to have inventory. You don't have to meet any quotas. You don't have anybody that's gonna be constantly messaging you and making you do certain things. So you have the complete freedom to do as you want with the starter kit. It's the same way as it has you enrolled. Somebody told you about it, uh, you decided that it was for you, and you decided to buy the starter kit. It's the same thing. And every single person that does the starter kit has the opportunity to continue that. Now, there's many different tiers and levels of your involvement as a member. You can be you know, somebody that's looking for wellness, looking for their options, you bought your starter kit for your reasons and you stay in that bubble. That is fine. That is amazing. You're, you're already helping yourself. You're getting better. And you could be somebody that wants to share with others, but not at as a crazy rate, whether, you know, to do videos online, to do posts on Facebook. You don't want any of that. You just want to tell your mom about it, your best friend, the girl down the road, your coworker, and that is fine. All you do is you go and you enroll them and that's it. You can do more with it if you want to, but if you just want to bless the people around you, that is okay. You do not have to do parties. You do not have to do any of those things. That's fine. Uh, the really cool thing about that is anybody that you enroll, you're going to get $50 back for that enrollment. You can get more if they sign up for ER. Uh, so that is really nice. That month that they enroll, you have to spend 50 PV in order to have that person's thank you check come to you from Young Living. They automatically put it on your account or they send you a check if, if it's above 50 bucks. So that's really nice. You can have auto shipment too for direct deposit, by the way. Um, any month after that first month that somebody's enrolled, if they order, you have to spend 100 PV in order to get paid the percent of which you would get back for their order. Uh, it's 8%, 6%, 4%, depending on where they are in your downline. If you just enroll five people and you're content with that, that is wonderful. That is amazing. You're helping people. You're helping those five people. Um, 100 PV is best spent if it's on Center Rewards because you're getting that 10% or that 20%, that 25% back. And that is going to help you in the long run. But if you spend 100 PV with Young Living and Center Rewards, you're going to actually get a free oil every month. So Young Living wants you to, to benefit. They want you to um, get more. So that's the best way to do it. If you are somebody that doesn't know if you can spend that much every single month, you can always do something like um, the months that people spend money underneath you, bump it up to 100 PV. The months that they don't, do the 50 PV to stay on the ER and be consistent with that. It's, it's whether or not you don't have to spend it, but if you don't spend it, you're not going to get paid. You just have to remember that. Uh, sometimes I'll message you or your enroller will message you to remind you. Um, it's more of we're just helping you to understand that you need to spend that, but you don't have to. If you don't want to get paid for it, you don't have to. Um, but that first month, that first time they enroll, that one month you're going to get 50 bucks back. It's really wonderful. Something to consider is you can have um, four people enroll and you would get your starter kit paid for. A lot of people share with others because they want to be able to get their oils paid for and there's nothing wrong with that. That is wonderful. And, and you have to think about it in the way that you want to bless the people around you. You want your mother to be enrolled with you. You want your best friend to be enrolled. You want your sister, your, your boyfriend's sister to be enrolled with you because you're going to be telling them the information anyways. You're loving the essential oils as it is. So why not have them underneath you versus somebody else? And that's what you have to think about it. A lot of us will have that block where they think, I'm not somebody that's selling it. I don't want to sell it. I don't want a business. I don't have time for it. But it's really okay with Young Living. It's, it's fine. Uh, something about our team, which if you're watching this, you're on our team, you know that you can add them to the Facebook groups. Ask them. Add them to our Facebook groups, and they can be 
in that part of education. You don't have to go crazy educating. You already have that built in. Um, if you're local to Attica, you can do the speed oiling every month. And, you know, any of your enrollers, if they're actually doing classes, you can invite them to those things. So there's a lot of things that are helping you out. So you don't have to have that overwhelming, um, you know, stressor if you don't want it. It's, it's really how you want to do it. And don't let that I don't sell mentality block you because there's no reason why you can't bless those around you. And there's no reason why you shouldn't bless those people around you. That is the best thing about young women. Um, you can do it as you want. So basically, I'm going to show this to you again. Um, you have somebody enroll. You're going to get, let's see. So if somebody enrolls uh, first month, first month you need to spend 50 PV, which is around $50, in order to get that, um, that $50 check. You see that? Uh, any month after that, you have to spend 100 PV, which is around $100, in order to get basically 8% of what they spent. Okay, I should have brought a little thing over here. I'm gonna show you, so this is a basic video, so this is, a, you know, I'm interested, I'm excited, so you can go, you can go to Young, Young Living and you can buy a website from Young Living, it's $10 a month. So you can log into your account and you can find that. With your virtual office, that's what we call our account for Young Living, you just log in, Go to youngliving.com, just like you would to order. Log in for you. And you're going to see all the options you need. We have so many resources on this website that allows you to, to know all that you need. But I'm going to show it to you. Oh, I can't switch the view. That's the bad thing about this. No, well, I can't switch the view. I don't know how to do it. Anyways, so... Going into this, you literally go to your account. So you'll see your account on, on the Young Living page. And you can go to Member Resources and click on that. And it gives you the comp plan, which is basically how you get paid, what I explained. It gives you a lot of information, resources that you can use. Um, but if you go to Link Builder, which is underneath Member Resources, you're going to click on that. And it will give you a link that actually has your member ID and your roller number or sponsor number that you can give to people. You copy and you paste and you give it to them. So that's how people enroll. It's really, really easy. If you do not know your member number, uh, it will tell you right there what it is. It's very easy. And then if somebody's interested, you talk to them about what their goals are. You know, just say, okay, what are you looking to learn? And, you know, they ask, they tell you and you try to tell them the best that you can because we're all working off of our experiences. You do not have to be an expert. If you don't know it, ask somebody. If you don't know it, look it up. If you don't know it, Google it. Uh, I love to do Young Living Essential Oils for, and that is the best thing. And that is where you learn. That is where you gain. There's never somebody that starts this business knowing everything. And you have to understand that. Um, it, you learn through your experiences. You learn through talking through people. So your first couple of enrollments, you might not know exactly what to say, but you, you will learn and you will help them learn as you go. So don't know, you don't have to be a master. You just have to have a starter kit. That's it. Um, it's wonderful. So you send them a couple of things. If you go to... Um, our education group, which is getting to know your essential oils, and you go into the search engine and you sit, uh, put uh, Google Drive. It will actually have a video for Google Drive. You click on that, and it will have all the information that you need in order to, to help others. It has graphics, so you can go in there, and you can click um, Starter Kit Graph PSK, which is our starter kit graphics and you can send them one of those this is what our starter kit looks like and then say here's my link let me know if you have any questions it's that simple um you can actually go in if you're sitting with that person just go to youngliving.com click become a member and that logs them in and you can sit there give them the member id which is a sponsor enroller and and talk them through it and just walk it through them through it right there it's very, very simple. It does not have to be overwhelming. They're enrolling the same way that you did. So great, awesome, we have, we have somebody. So now what? 
I suggest to add them to getting to know essential oils, but ask them first. Then you're going to actually sit there and you're going to say, what is the best way to contact you? If it's not somebody that you know really well, you should know that. Is it text? Is it email? Is it Facebook Messenger? How would you like me to contact you? And then in a couple days, see if their starter kit came. Ask them if they opened it well. You can send them that um, video that I've made um, with the starter kit. And you can actually see this on that channel, on this channel. Um, and send them that and be like, watch this and let me know what you have questions for. You can also find that in the announcements and getting to know. Um, and then follow up with them. What oils are you loving? What oils are you using? Have you opened your starter kit? And just ask questions and then leave them alone for a little bit, depending. Uh, once you get to know them better, which would be just messaging them, you can ask them what their goals are with Young Living, how they, you know, how they're doing with that. Ask open-ended questions. If they say, I haven't opened it yet, figure out why. Well, are you nervous? What do you need? You know, and then just look and see what you can do to help them. Giving them a reference book is really helpful. You go, uh, I have them in Attica. If you're local to us, they're $12. But if you're not, you can go to www.discoverlsp.com. And you can send that to them, and that helps them. You can also give them the app, which is only, I, I don't know how much it is. It's a couple dollars. It's like maybe 5 or $10. Um, I think it's $9. And they can do the app instead if they'd rather have that on their phone, and that's cheaper for you, right? Uh, and just make sure they're plugged in. Make sure you know how they learn. Make sure you know, you know, best way to contact with them. When you have a new member... You want to set the tone for them. So how would you like to be treated when you first enrolled? Did you want a lot of information? You know, and it's okay to ask. Do you want me to give you a lot of information? Do you want me to add you to Facebook groups? Do you want me to do this stuff? Figure it out. The more you ask, the more you get to know them, and the more you can help them more. When we just assume, we're not going to connect with them as well, and they're not going to feel um, what they need. Everybody learns differently. Everybody wants to get into this in a different way. You have to just feel them out. And there's never, ever a problem with just asking, how am I doing? Do you like how I'm contacting you? Do you like my follow-up? Um, and then you can learn for the next ones. You know, doing something as simple as just getting out a note sheet and putting their name on there and writing notes. They Their goals are... Um, to help with stress and help their son sleep. Write it down. And then when you call them or message them, how are you doing with your son sleeping? And then they see that you really, really care and that you're paying attention. Um, you know, in general, things are, are not always the best, especially if you've already gotten some answers. Get a notebook. Write down in that notebook these things. Make it easy for yourself so you remember. Not everybody can sit there and remember all these details. It's, it can be overwhelming. Write it down. If you're not somebody that writes it down, put a note in your phone to get the notebooks. You know, whatever works for you is the best solution, is the best avenue. You have to remember that. We're not all going to do things in the same way. Um, so now you've added some people. And, you know, you can be content with that. But if you want to do a little bit more, I really suggest the list. So the list would be getting out your notebook or a piece of paper and writing down every single person that you know that you would love to bless with Young Living. And the biggest thing that you have to think about this is, is Young Living has something for everybody. Any age, um, any type of um, health, we have natural products, we have, you know, skincare, we have cleaning, we have things for animals, we have things for babies, we have things for infants, we have emotional support. Every single person needs some type of emotional support, even if they don't think they do. Um, we have things for motivation, we have supplements, a ton of supplements. Most people do supplements or are going to need them. So when you write your list, you want to pretty much write down everybody. Um, and then what I suggest is to actually categorize that list. And put people that you know would be really good with support with stress in one category. People that work out a lot could be another category. People that you think might need some, like a multivitamin or a digestive help, put another category. If you don't know, just put them all there. I say the categories is you write down your goal should be 40 people. And then you're going to keep this list. And every single time you um, one of those people joins, you just cross them off. And you're going to get down on your list. I talk about the list all the time. Uh, so categorizing helps it to be so not so crazy because you can say, okay, I'm going to do this business. I'm going to rock it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to speak my heart and I'm going to, you know, help myself pay off my oils and I'm going to help others feel better. That's amazing. But sometimes it can be like, okay, 
where do I start now? Um, are you somebody that likes to do classes? Are you somebody that just wants to do it on social media? You have to figure that stuff out and kind of feel it out. Um, classes in our group, Building Your Passion, if you're not a part of that, let us know. Um, has files where it has scripts. The Google Drive has scripts for you. And you can do a class like this, or you can just have people over and just talk about the essential oils. There's no cut and dry. If you need cut and dry, let us know. If you don't, you can do it that way. It's however it works for you. That's the big thing. It's it's for you. You want this to feel good. You want this to be what makes you tick. This is you're not copying somebody else. It's not going to work the best for them. You got to work yourself for you. Um, so take that list, and you can see all these people um, that like go for stress. Make sure on social media if you're a big social media person, um, make sure that you're doing some posts with stress, and make sure those people see it. So tips with social media is live videos really attract people. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But it really, really brings people. Do it uh, either. Don't do a um, a what do you want to call it? A title or just leave it so people click on it. But the first couple of minutes is going to set the tone. So say something interesting. You know, really grab them. Or take your list and every week pick five people and comment and like on their posts. That shows that will actually get Facebook to have them start seeing your posts. And then you post about it. I would say one in five posts should be about Young Living. But make it authentic. Make it real. Take your own picture. Show something that you used. The more you use the products, the more you're going to learn, the more people around you are going to learn. Because if they don't know you're doing the business, if they don't know you're using oils, they don't know you're a resource. So if you post about it, something simple. I used White Angelica today and it made my it made me feel more mentally clear. That's okay. That's all you have to say. You don't have to do a long post. You don't have to do anything crazy. Or you could do a cool little video of your diffuser going and say today is uh, you know, citrus fresh and frankincense and it smells good and it makes my chest feel great and it makes me just feel clear. Those are all simple ways to talk but it tells people that you are a resource and that you're somebody that's using these oils so when they come to the point in their life where they want to use essential oils or have heard about them or been suggested to them they think oh stephanie's the person that's been posting about it i'm going to go with them because i know that they're a resource if you put yourself out there people know if you don't put yourself out there people don't know um you know what I mean? When you're in public with people, use it. When you just feel like using it, don't hide it. Use it. Um, but those lists, you can do um, create events. And you just go to events. And it says it has a little add arrow on the bottom. You can do public. Public is where everybody can see it. Private, you'd have to invite the person in order for them to see it. I like public because everybody can see it on my Facebook um, profile. But you could do a class for stress. You could do a class for exercise. If you don't know those, ask people to help you. Um, or you could just do a live video and just talk about it. If you don't want to do a live video on your profile, do it an event and do a live video on there so people can see it and you're not feeling as nervous and you've invited those people that you want to interact with and focus on those certain topics. It's really, um, it's really helpful. But the more you comment, the more you like, Look at your list. Okay, this week I'm going to do these five people and really focus on them. They're going to start seeing your posts. They're going to start seeing what you're doing, and then that helps you. If we don't focus on things, um, Facebook kind of controls it, and we don't know if the people we're targeting are actually seeing our profile. So it's really, really important. It's really easy to be helpful. Um, so I hope that helps. But if you don't have a list, it help, It help. you don't really have a focus, and you don't really have an action. The months that I do the best are the ones that I have my list and I'm working on those people. I'm genuinely focused on them. I really care and I know that this, these oils are going to help them. Um, I'm not a headhunter. I don't go crazy, but I, I know this is what they need. Um, I also pray about it. I say, God, whoever I need to talk to, whoever um, you know, I need to work on, please have it be the first feed that I see in the morning. And I wake up, if I see that, I message that person. Um, I trust in God. I trust in his purpose. And I know that um, he will take care of me. Um, so having your list really helps you, and you can revamp it as much as you want. Print out a calendar. Have a calendar. And mark down the days that you're going to do something with somebody. Um, you know, Monday I'm going to message two people. Tuesday I'm going to comment on three people's and have set things. If you don't have it written down, you're more likely not to do it. If you're more of a calendar on your phone, set alarms. Today, message five people. Today, um, comment on so-and-so's so's, you know, doing classes. 
Um, it can be overwhelming, but just have over people and just talk to them about it. It's really that easy. Or you can do a structured class. You're an enroller. You can ask them to help you on your first couple so you get it. Um, and it makes it a lot easier. But again, it needs to work for you. It needs to feel good for you. And then there's so much more you can do. Um, so this gets a little tricky, but stacking. So once you, once you become you're starting to go into Young Living, you can rank up. And when you get to certain ranks, you get generation bonuses, which would be um, you actually get a, a percent of what Young Living as a whole makes. So you can make some good money. So that is really um, kind of intriguing, especially if you are looking to make some money. And I'm trying to find, let's see, business resources. So there's a, in the Google Drive, there's a thing for business resources. And... This is what I realized. So on average, a Young Living star makes $58 a month. And that's the first rank. So you have to have 500 OGVs. So that would look like this. Let's see. So star. If we can figure out going backwards. Okay, so star would be 500 OGV. So OGV, 500 OGV would be five, oh, that's not going to work for you guys, um, would be $500 of, or 500 PV being spent underneath you. So say you do, so you, say you do 100 PV, okay? Say you do 100 PV. I need to figure out how to do this better this way. Um, and then you add your mother and they do a hundred and then your sister and they do, you know, 300 that actually equals 500 PV. So you would hit star that month as long as you're spending the 100 PV. Um, then in that on average makes $58 a month. That's on average. Okay. If you get to a senior star, which is the next tier, that is that is one, no, that's 2,000 OGV. So the same thing. There's $2,000 being spent on accumulated with your, what you spent and the people underneath you. And that can be, you know, whoever and whatever this is spent. So that's each month. Every single month it resets. So the first of each month, we're all at zero and we're all at the same rank. We're all at distributor. Um, and it, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ranks. So see, a star is the first one, then senior star. And then, um, and then you get to executive. So from the beginning, if you want to do this as a business, executive has $4,000 underneath it. Okay? $4,000. I know it's backwards, but you understand what I'm saying. So in order to get to executive, you got to have two legs. And that all that means is, is that you have to have a person just like you so we'll do mom and sister, okay? Just like you. So you've enrolled your mom, you've enrolled your sister, okay? And then what you've done is mom has enrolled people. So mom has enrolled three people and your sister has enrolled two people, okay? And then maybe they've enrolled somebody or they've enrolled more, all the lines of people, okay? So that would be... Each one of these people, they have people underneath them, is a leg. So you're a leg for the person above you. Okay, does that make sense? And you have to have $4,000 total to hit executive. But you have to have two legs at 1000 So we go back to kind of like star and senior star. So that person would be between hitting star and senior star. So as long as you have two legs that hit $1,000, each, you're going to hit executive if you have 4000 total. So you can have, you know, other people down the line that's not a leg and say this equals uh, 2000 each, okay? That's 2000 total. And then you have two legs 
that actually hit a thousand each. You've hit executive. Um, the average executive makes four hundred twenty-five dollars a month. That's the average. Okay. The next one is silver, and silver. So you have all these numbers. You have mom. Silver has would be. Silver is actually ten thousand dollars. OGV underneath you. Okay, so ten thousand dollars spent. You have mom's leg, you have your sister's leg, and then you have all the people there, and maybe you're getting another leg, but these guys are building a little bit. Mom's building a little bit, so you can place people underneath her, underneath them. So you personally, you're always the enroller, okay? No matter what level you are, you're the enroller. If you want to place people underneath other people to bless them and to help them build their business, they're going to be the sponsor. Okay, so the legs are going to be sponsor. Do you understand? So like mom would be the sponsor. So when they enroll, there's a tab for enroller and sponsor. You're going to give them your number, and then the second number is going to, the sponsor is going to be the, these people's enrollment numbers. Um, you can always do this afterwards. So the first five days of somebody being enrolled, you can call Young Living and say, I'm going to remain the enroller, and I want Sarah to be placed underneath um, my mom. And you're going to give them their number, and then they're going to switch them. So within five days, you can do that for free. After 20 days, you can email www.resolutions. Nope, sorry. Resolu no, www. Resolutions at youngliving.com and email and say, I would like to remain the enroller. I would like Sarah, you know, in her last name and her member number to be moved underneath Heidi and her last name and her member number. Um to change her sponsor. And then you just send that email. It's super easy. You gotta have the member number and the name. After um, after 20 days, then you have to pay for it. You have to get a form. So it's really easy to do that. But that's how you're gonna strategically stack. When you're first starting, I would say have about five people underneath you. And then after that, if somebody joins the ER, ask them if you can use them as a leg to um, help build your business, but then also get their, you know, some money paid for them. And just explain, you have to spend 100 PV in order to get paid for the people that are underneath you. Yes, they get paid as well. Um, if you have somebody that wants to start building, even better, put people underneath them. But keep in mind from the beginning, if you want to get up the silver, which is, is this one, you got to have um, at least two legs, okay? So always focus on that. I would say always have one more because there's more rings after this. So to be silver, each of these legs have to be 4,000 OGV each. Okay, so mom's leg has to be 4,000 OGV and your sister's leg has to be 4,000 OGV, which brings us back to executive. So that would mean that both your mom and sister could hit executive and they'd be making on average $425 a month. That's exciting. So you can just help them focus on this. So they would need two legs. So when you're building underneath them, you could you could help them with that as well. It can be overwhelming, but once you, you go into your account and you click organization, when you start doing this, it starts to visualize and you can see it. But eyes on the prize. You know, it's awesome to have a downline. It's awesome to have people. But if you want to get a little bit more from it while you're doing the effort anyways, you can do that. So the silver on average makes $1,698 a month. That's a lot, guys. That's really, really a lot. Um, the next steps would be gold, which you have to have three legs, which is why I say start out with three legs. Um, you can enroll your husband um, or your wife, and that can count as a leg. Now, mind you, they might not be a builder, but you can bless them, and that can be two incomes in your family as well, boyfriends, etc. That's a really, really cool option. Um, Platinum would be, you know, four legs. I'm not going to overwhelm. This is starting business. But you can go up to platinum, which is 100,000 OGV. You can go up to diamond, which is 250,000 OGV. Um, Crown Royal Diamond, which is 1.5 million OGV, which is realistic. You can do it. The average person takes 10 years of working and focusing on the, I mean, focusing every day and working hard. The average person takes five years and 10 months to get to diamond. A diamond member gets 27,972 dollars a month. K 
Can you commit five minutes every single day and work your tail off and really focus and stack and build and bless people with better options for their health? That's the best thing is you're helping people improve their lives for five years straight to make $27,972. I said that totally wrong. A month. Is that worth it? That's life changing. That for some people that's more than they make an entire year. That's amazing. So I'll be right with you. Finishing a video. Um, that that is amazing. So this is all. It can be overwhelming, but just keep on replaying. That's called stacking. Okay. So you are always the enroller, and then whoever you enroll and you want to place underneath somebody else, they're going to be the sponsor. You can do this. It's not that hard. If um, you know, it just takes time, and the more you do it, and the more you visualize. So the biggest things is you have somebody that you enroll. How you treat them from enrollment on is how they're going to know that it is to be treated. So if you're going to love on them, send them a thank you card, you know, be there for them, they're going to know that, and they're going to continue that with somebody else. Do you know what I mean? Um, you can have a ton of enrollments, but if your team isn't on ER and they're not ordering, that means that they haven't gotten it. They haven't seen the value in the products and the process and, and the worth of what the essential oils can do for them. So make sure that Yes, you know, numbers for some people are as wonderful, but if you don't have a team that understands and a team and people that are using Young Living to their full capacity or at least trying to and budgeting and doing the ER, that means that they haven't found the value in it yet. So never forget the people that you enrolled. Never forget why you enrolled them. Never forget that you're helping them achieve goals. You're helping them improve their lifestyle and you're helping them to be better people. Don't let that overwhelm you because we are all doing this together. And you forget, don't forget that we're a part of a team. We are a team that cares. We are a team that wants to feel better. We are a team that is moving mountains together and you are a part of that. Never be afraid to ask your enroller for help. Never be afraid to ask for opinions. Never be afraid to message me or whoever you vibe with the best. And get accountability. Um, help you know, work out things that are concerning you. The best thing you can do for yourself is to invest in yourself today so you don't have to do other things later in life that you don't want to. It's all about being the best you. The better you feel, the more oils you're using, the more supplements you're using, the more things that you're doing to get your life on track, the better you're going to feel, the more you're going to want to do, the more people you're going to want to help, and it all goes up. It all goes up from there. It's a blessing. It is a wonderful blessing. Release those blocks. Release those things that say, you know what? I don't know enough people. Um, I don't want to be salesy. I don't. It's not about sales. It's experience. It's valuing your life. It's improving your lifestyle. There's no sales about that. Young Living is the one that sells it. They have to log into Young Living in order to order it. You are the advocate. You are the avenue that opens up the opportunity for it, for them. Um, people want to feel better. People want sales. People want um, help. People want support. People want those things. Be that person, but you can't be that person for people if they don't know that you're that person. If they don't know that you're using the oils. If they don't know that you're an advocate, have it out in your house so when people come over, they can ask. Um, be vocal about it. If you love a, a shirt and a new company that you've gone to, you're going to tell people about it. There's no difference between that and your health. That's the crazy thing is we have these blocks and we think that, you know, we may not be that avenue, that good enough person to tell people, but it's okay. Anybody can do it. I'm no different than you. I saw something. I loved it. I felt good about it. It helped me with my children. And I'm telling people, and I feel better about that because I know they have better resources. I know that they have better options. And you get to meet a lot of really great people and having that one person come back to you and say that worked. Thank you. That's amazing. That's life-changing right there. Do it with your heart exploding into it. And, and if you want to succeed with this business, make sure that you do it and put in that effort. Five years and 10 months is worth It's worth $11,000 a month. Um, that's what Platinum gets. It's worth, um, honestly, $4,000 a month. That's amazing for gold. Um, you can do that.
You have the power. You have to decide to do it and you have to commit to it. You have to put yourself out there. You have to do the effort every single day. If you still have no idea what to do and where to start, message who enrolled you. If they're not somebody that's really a big builder, then look up to your upline and find somebody. If you want to just even ask me, who should I go to? I'll look on your download and I can tell you. It all starts with your decision to go and it all starts with your consistency consistency on being the advocate and letting people know the more consistent you are with it the more that people are going to know that you're a resource people want somebody that's supportive people want somebody that's going to be there for them and honestly you are the best avenue for everybody in your family do not allow somebody else around you to be the advocate for them you deserve to be the advocate for the people that you know that's in your circle you deserve that. And even if you're not going to go crazy and go down the road and become a platinum, you still deserve to be that advocate for your family members. And you have to remember that. You're worth it. You're worth that. You're worth that to be that for your coworkers. It's not a gimmick. It's not a it's not a, you know, a sales pitch. It's it's more of you're going to tell them the information anyways. You're going to be that constant support. You're going to be that constant feed for them. You're going to be that constant person that's helping them. You deserve to enroll them. Thank you for viewing. I hope this is helpful. I'll be doing more videos, but replay this as much as you need to. This is where it starts. Believe in yourself. Say I am worthy. Say I am worthy every single day and believe it. Use your oils. Be that experience and be that advocate and be consistent. Have a great day.